Hi everybody, it's Kenandra back again with another reaction video for you, for you guys. This time I'll be reacting to the last episode of Supernatural. Again, it's the last episode of Supernatural. This is called Gods and Monsters. Again, this is called Gods and Monsters. This is season 14, episode number 2. But of course, before I say anything, you guys know what you need to do first. Please like, comment, subscribe, and definitely hit the notification button for when I come out with new videos. Again, like, comment, subscribe. And definitely hit the notification bell when I come out with new videos. Now, on to the actual episode. We saw a lot of things going on with this family. We saw a lot of things changing. And we saw a lot of uh, conflicts arising out of the family with what's going on with Michael, a.k.a. Dean. So let's start out with Dean says Michael. Uh, we do see that uh, Michael has taken over Dean's body as we learned in the last season. Um, last episode, we did see a little more of uh, Dean uh, actually killing some uh, actual angels and kind of going through most of the figuring out his plan of what he's going to do next. So again, this episode so we kind of see him do some uh, actual experiment work with uh, some vampires as well as looks like he was trying to get something done with the werewolves as well so it's kind of interesting to kind of see all that dynamic going on with uh, Michael Michael trying to figure out I guess what his next move what it's going to be and kind of going from there so you don't quite know it yet but we do know throughout the episode he does do experiments on vampires and then you know he does show that he is starting to work with werewolves so again we're starting to see you know some of his dynamic of his planning coming together about what he's going to do next so so, moving on from that, of course, we know that uh, Sam, as well as Mary, as well as Bobby, are looking for uh, Dean because Dean, of course, is, you know, Sam's brother, Mary's son, and we know that we want to get Dean back as much as possible, but again they can't find it right now so of course they're off to trying to find him and in a way you know they end up coming up to the werewolves and we do find out that the werewolves have been experimented on that they do uh, do have some type new powers meaning they don't uh, do anything bad to them whenever they uh, actually get hit by silver so yeah we do find that out throughout the episode uh, we do see that uh, Sam is on a race against time to try to save Dean uh, of course he doesn't want anything happen to his brother uh, Mary's at the, on the same path as well as Bobby so they're all kind of on the same page when it comes to dealing with this and trying to understand what's going on so again toward the end of the episode we actually do see Dean come out and we hear that Michael has left him so again we do hear about that now again one next thing one of the things we did learn about was about Jack. Of course, Jack is going through the most of dealing with the fact that he did lost his grace. He basically doesn't have his powers like he usually does. He actually goes to visit his grandparents, uh, who of course don't know who he is. He doesn't know that um, they don't know that he is Kelly's son. So, of course, uh, they don't realize what's really going on. Of course, eventually he does tell them that uh, he does that he that I mean, Kelly actually did have a grand have a son I'm sorry about that have a son and again she never told her uh, told them what his name was and of course he found out that Jack was actually her father's name so that's why he got named after named the name Jack so Man, that was very interesting to kind of see that whole dynamic of him dealing with his family as well as Castiel because Castiel is actually dealing with um, losing, you know, his ability to really reason with Jack because Jack is going through the motions of not having his, his powers. And of course, you know, we also know that Castiel has lost his power before, so he does know what it's like to kind of be in that same boat. So again, he is trying to deal with that uh, aspect of Jack and how he's going to handle Jack and what he's going to say to him. And then, of course, we see Castiel has had to deal with Nick, aka Lucifer. So again, Nick was taken over by Lucifer, you know, used as a vessel basically to make sure that he can, you know, try to take over the world and break his spring order in his, in his own way uh, to the world. So we do see Nick kind of dealing with the emotions of learning about his family, about how his family died. And we also do know that Lucifer has left remnants of himself inside of Nick. So we do see that kind of come out every once in a while in Nick uh, whenever he gets upset about something. And then toward the end of the episode, we do find out that Nick does do something more extreme when it comes to Artie. Because Artie was that neighbor who found out about what was going on with uh, his family. His family being killed. Also, the detectives not going forward because, again, it's called a cold case and learning that he's really not going to be uh they're really not going forward with the case to try to figure out who killed his family so again that was just like one of the unsolved murders that he wants to figure out but of course nobody's willing to help him but he does go to the extreme and does kill Artie I'm not sure if he knew what he was doing at the time but again you know he was just going through the motions of uh dealing with his family and of course Lucifer is in him so we don't know if that's actually Lucifer actually killing uh Artie or if it's actually Nick so again but of course we'll probably find out out next episode if that was him or not but again it's kind of interesting to kind of see that dynamics of Lucifer playing along with Nick in that one body trying to figure out what they're going to do next so that's very interesting to see so again you know those are pretty good uh scenarios that were going on in the actual story we do still see that things did come in on a you know cliffhanger of course so 
so we don't know what's going to happen to, you know, Dean as well as Sam, Mary, uh, Jack, Cassio, Nick, and of course if Lucifer is still available or still alive inside of Nick. So again, we don't know. So again, you know, it's very interesting to see those things. Of course, lots of questions to be asked when it comes to this episode. What's going to happen with Michael since basically Dean has come back and he did say that Michael has left him. Did Michael actually leave his body or is he just playing uh, chicken with them to get them out in the open so he can take advantage of them? We don't know. So hopefully we'll find out that in the next episode. Is Jack going to get able to get his powers back? Is Jack going to be able to be the person that he thinks he needs to be, of course, because he's dealing with not having disgrace anymore? As well as to seeing what's going on with Nick. Nick, of course, again, killed somebody at the end of the episode, as we saw with the hammer, the same way they killed his family. So, again, we don't know if Nick just went off the rails and decided to kill him or Lucifer had something to do with that. So, of course, we'll hopefully find out more about that. And what's Michael's big plan? Because Michael did leave. Did he go to heaven and all of a sudden decide he's going to try to kill off the rest of the angels? Or is he going to make some type of new plan about what he's going to do next? All these are good questions that, of course, I'm going to ask when the uh, next episode does come on. But, again, those are just my thoughts and my roundabout summary of what was going on. Let me know your thoughts about the episode. If you liked it, if you hated it, if thought it sucked, please put it down in the comment section. As well as any other videos you would like me to react to. I do try to react to those as quick as I can. Unfortunately, I did not have any new subscribers, which does happen here and there. But again, it's not the end of the world. It could be the worst thing in the world if not having the subscribers. But of course, I am on my way to 200 subscribers, but I can't do it without you. So I am on my way to 200 subscribers again. Again, I need you to become a new subscriber. So definitely become a new subscriber if you'd like my videos. Feel free to check out some other videos. I have hundreds of videos on that you can check out. Please feel free to check them out. Definitely like some videos if you like the videos. I appreciate any likes I get. And definitely know that if you do become a new subscriber, I do give you a shout out on my next video. So you definitely know have your name out there. So get a shout out if you do become a new subscriber. Now I'm going to get ready to end this actual episode. So before I do that, if you haven't done it already, please like, comment, subscribe. And definitely hit that notification bell for like my new videos. You guys have a great rest of the day. Peace.